Hi, and welcome to another video in the Lullabot Learning Series. In this video, we're going to talk about jQuery and JavaScript usage in Drupal. I'm Jeff Robbins. And I'm Nate Haug. Let's take a look at some of the jQuery and Drupal integrations that we'll be building today in this video. The first thing we're going to be looking at is how to add jQuery to a theme. In this example, we'll be taking a custom theme and then making it so that when you click in the search box, the word search will automatically disappear and reappear if you haven't entered in a search term. This will involve adding a jQuery library to the page and then doing a small bit of custom jQuery and adding it to the theme to add this functionality to the search box. We're then going to take a look at some module development. We'll put together a module called MacroMaker module that simply allows when you type into any text area or text field, it'll pop up a macros pop-up that allows you to select macros that you may enter into a particular text field. Automatically, upon clicking a macro, it'll insert it into that text field. In the administrative interface of the MacroMaker module, we're going to take a look at how to utilize Drupal's drag and drop behavior to make it so you can easily reorder elements on a page within any form that has orderable items. We're also going to take a look at Drupal's direct integration with jQuery through the Forms API. We're going to look at some of the simple properties such as autocomplete or collapsible or resizable, as well as some of the more advanced properties, such as the AHA property available in Drupal 6. The AHA property allows you to make AJAX or AHA based requests in reaction to any user related event on the page, such as filling out a username and automatically doing an AJAX request to validate whether or not that username is available. Then, after we get done looking at the Drupal 6 AHA framework, we're going to shift gears and move to Drupal 7 and talk about changes in the AHA framework, now renamed as the AJAX framework, and then continue on with other Drupal 7 functionality. We're going to take a look at how the AJAX framework has been enhanced in Drupal 7 to make it so that it can work on not just form elements, but on regular links throughout the site. In this example that we'll be building, we'll build a highly optimized AJAX request to Drupal that will return a JSON result, making it so that we can quick view an individual node from the teaser view. When clicking quick view, it'll do an AJAX request and return back the AJAX string containing the full node version of an individual node and then return it back onto the same page that the quick view link was quick clicked on. We're also going to be covering the new JavaScript state system in Drupal 7 which allows you to form connections between different elements on the page, showing or hiding them, or changing their state based on certain properties. Finally, we're going to look at an example module that allows you to customize your unicorn through this new state system. We cover a lot of information in this video, building on the foundations of theming, module development, and jQuery. So we've got a lot of code to cover. Let's dive in.